<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Seth and Beth podcast. My name is Seth. This is Beth. And my name is Beth. And we are here. Beth introduced us to these two. Okay, this is Tanya, and this is Maurice, and they're thebomb.com. That's not their website, though. No, uh, no, no. Yeah, don't if go there. If you search that, You yikes. might get in trouble. Tanya yeah, and Maurice Parada. Um, what is your, is it just your name? Is it Parada Studios? I can't remember. What is your photo business name? It's Parada Studio. It is. Okay, yeah. I am right. And um, where are you guys from? Tell us a little bit about yourselves and to the viewers so when they look you up and you're all your awesomeness, they'll more, know more about the two of you. But tell us, let's start. Where are you guys from and what are you all up to? You're so sweet. We currently live um, in West LA, Santa Monica in Los Angeles. Mm, so cute. So fun. We have needed to go on a diet for a couple of years now because there's so much good food. Mm-hmm. Originally, I'm from Washington State. Mm. Um, and then Maurice and I met about seven years ago, eight years ago. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. We were almost married for seven years, and that's how I moved to California was because mm. of him, because he was here already. How'd you guys meet them? On Instagram. What? <laughs> we met on, yeah, we that. met online. Um, like you saw a picture of her on Instagram? Or no, you no, had- no, it was the other way around. <laughs> oh my. I know, what, what did she see? <gasps> and you're like, what a hottie. Yeah, I mean, was he like tagged in a photo or of a no? Your friend? So I, we don't really know exactly if it was like mutual friends or not, but we believe it was through a photographer that we were both following. Okay, and then obviously, like you want to follow their photographers and see who they're connected with, and then I just saw his photo and I was like, there was something about him that really drew me to like his. I don't know if it's like energy or vibe or whatever, but yeah. he was just such a sweetie pie, like so nice. And then I was looking through his photos. And I'm like, okay, good. No gym photos, no selfies. Well, I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> so <laughs> there were no gym photos. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> and that to me was like, okay, to me, that guy is, it just seems really kind and really humble. So um, I messaged him. And what'd you say? I... So I knew he spoke Spanish and I speak Spanish. How did you know that? Because you had like this post of Salvadorian candy and you had written something about the candy. And I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show him. Oh, I'm gonna show him I'm some show sugar. Him. I'm gonna have some this, Spanish this, sugar. This black That's girl can this black girl can do it. So Where did you learn Spanish? Azucar. My parents taught taught us when we were really little. Okay. Yeah. And right, so keep, keep going. And so um so I wrote to him and I was like, I told him in Spanish, like how how, how did they compare to Mexican candies? And then he messaged me on Facebook. And then we chatted online uh, from like, what, 12 that night until like 7, 6, seven, six like in the morning? Six forty-five or something like that. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beth, 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 I laugh because Beth is usually like, oh, how cute. He's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what? He said, what? I know. It is so, I never ever, like, with anyone else in my life, never ever had that experience or dated a guy like that yeah. at all in that yeah. way. But that is for so us, it, it worked, and he was just so open and honest. And are you going to say something? No. Before? And what happened later that day? Oh, I'm embarrassed. To say share. it. So then finally we were like, okay, let's take this offline and like actually talk to each other. So I called him and he answered in this super sexy, like Hispanic voice. I like, want to hear it. Do it right now. Hola, Tanya. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Soy Mauricio Parada. He left me a voice. He left me a voicemail like that. And I was like, this guy, I'm going to like. This is the guy. This, this is, is the guy. guy, not like this creepy. This is, no. is the guy. Creepy. Then I call him, <laughs> and his voice is like, "Hi, I'm Marie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marie. What are you doing? I was like, "Where is the man?" <laughs> <laughs> so um, we actually talked, and like, I don't know what came over me, but I, I told him I loved him. <laughs> The very first day. What are you we talking about? We Jesus. had not even met Let me bring person. this back a little bit. <laughs> <sighs> this is the very first day? Yeah, I know. Like, I hate even, like, saying this. Have you? Um, were you one of these people that easily fall in love with people? No. Like, I never said I love you to any guy. This is, like, our, maybe it's on to the second day, maybe our, like, 36 or something. I don't know how we're counting this. but Yeah. But, yeah, you said, I think I love you. And I said. And then I was, oh, I shouldn't. And I paused. <gasps> and I almost hung up. <laughs> right. What did I say? I don't remember. I think you were like, I love you too. 
I think like I said, yeah, I think I love you too. But I don't think he, he didn't mean it. And you're in Washington. Yeah. And you're in California. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we were just, you know, on the phone. Yeah. You know, when you know, you know, you know, you know, and I just can't describe it. I know it is freaky. I know that it's not at all normal. This is very romantic. Um, very but, Hollywood. But he, he romantic. drove up from California <gasps> the next month to come um, see yeah, me. Like two or three weeks later, grab my buddy. I told oh him, hey, let's goodness. go. Oh my goodness. I can't and, believe uh, how many yeah, hours, hours of a drive is that? 24 hours. You drove 24 hours. Yep. Then he almost hours. died like two minutes before seeing me because... A semi almost hit them. Oh my god! Well, didn't tell me this until like way after. I was like, "Thank goodness." Yeah, a couple years later, and then we kind of, we met at a winery, right? I think it was a winery. Yeah. And he like ran up to me and like picked me up and hugged me. He met all my family the very first day, and then he stayed with us. And then the next morning, I don't know what it was, but I was like, "This guy, I don't know. He's too much for me." Like the end, I was like, "He's so hyper." He's so he's so much like I don't know. I almost broke up with him the next day. It was like, can you imagine <laughs> driving twenty four hours? I came down, <laughs> all I of came California, downstairs. all of Oregon, make it to Washington, oh, and and she tells me, eh, you know what? This isn't gonna work. Yeah. I don't like you. I was in tears because I was not gonna have this poor, lovely human being, you know, be carried on without intention. If I, this was not going yeah. where it needed to go, and he said the most amazing words to me he was like just give it the end of this week like let's just see where this goes and if by the end of the week like nothing comes of it we'll just be friends and to me that was so reassuring and I was like okay okay that's doable yeah I can do that and then it just made me fall in love with him even more mm. you you proposed uh was it six months six months after that yeah. wow six months after yeah. that yeah what a story cool. yeah I had no idea. I had no idea. Sorry, that was a long tangent. I know. I love I'm that. Sorry, I didn't know but either. Like, I love that. <laughs> yeah, anyway. What did your folks think about all this? They had a long distance relationship too. Oh. My mom is German. My dad was in New York. And so they wrote to each other for about a year. And then he flew over, spent two weeks with her and got married. What year so, was this? Uh, 1978. I think 1978. How did they meet? 70. Not Instagram. Mm -hmm. that's another one passenger pigeon yeah. passenger pigeon. that's another one so they i don't think that they um were really weirded out by it <laughs> as much as they probably should have been were you guys photographers <laughs> when you met mm, i was she was been, what five years before yeah already? but i was like it was like i was i was just kind of starting out mm -hmm. yeah. you still you've been doing this for a while then yeah but you know i feel like the last couple of years have really i don't feel like i can you know where we go like through different spurts in life? Yeah. I don't feel like I can really count starting photography until about like two years ago. Mm. Even though I've always, so I've had a, uh, a camera in my hand since I was 15. But I just didn't really. So what, what switched recently? Because I think um, the whole world has now, the whole world, the whole world. A lot of people in the industry world. have really <laughs> caught on to who you, because I was like, Beth, I, I don't know when I said this was like, who in the hell is this Tanya? And why is she so freaking amazing? Has this been like a whirlwind of the last couple of years where people are finally <laughs> seeing your stuff? Or, or is am I, am, I, am I missing something? Because I, you were not I'm, on our radar. I'm missing something too. I have no idea. I really don't. You've been picked up by uh, like partnerships with companies now. Um, like my main question is how do you do all of these incredible images? That's it. Answer that. Then we can end the show. I don't, I don't know how to answer that. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> um, like the work I, is. So wait, did you take a two man workshop? No, I'm going next month. Oh, oh yay. Okay. In Mexico. It's one of the last ones, right? Yes. Yeah. We're yeah. at Mexico. Yeah. Uh, right outside of Puerto Sayul Vallarta. Sayulita? No, I think it got moved. It got moved. Yeah. Somewhere okay. around there. Yeah. Um, I say this on the show every time someone brings up Mexico, but we have a. Our friend has a house in uh, Manzanillo. We go down all the time. Oh, but um, anyway, wow. um, yeah. yeah, your work is just very, well, I mean, I hate to say it's very similar to theirs, but I mean, it's just, it's a great, it's just oh equally as great. It's very um, <laughs> I think that, um, colorful and contrasty. And what, a Bethany? lot of photographers are inspired about how you're able to network because um, you, you know, 
you're great at networking. Oh. So, like, what are some things that you've done in the last couple of years that have put you in, like, a really great spot right now? Hmm. That's a good question. I think that my personal energy has changed in the sense that, like, I finally was just like, you know what? I'm just going to give it my all and see what comes of this and just try to do the best I can do and give as much as I can give. Like, to my couple's to other photographers, to the community. And I think I was holding myself back for a long time. And then finally I was just like, you know what, this, I, I, I just need to, I need to do something. And I think that that's, that was a turning point. It was kind of a make or break it. Cause last year I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a hundred percent. And then if this doesn't work, then, you know, vamanos, like yeah, vamanos. sayonara. Huh. <laughs> How many weddings do you guys do a year? So right now we're about at 50% capacity of what we'd like to do. Um, the goal would be 20. We okay. don't want to over a book. Um, right now my intention is to just work with the couples that I want to work with. Yeah. Like these people that I really vibe with. So what I do now, which is a little bit different than what I was doing in the past, is almost immediately right after the first inquiry, I have a um, – Skype video with them, like a Skype chat, right? Which I wasn't doing before. And I feel like when I do that, I just can get to know them. They get to know me. They feel like we trust and we vibe. And then I get to see if they're my client and they get to see if I'm the right person for them too. And that's changed everything. And I've had so, like every single couple that has talked to me, it's been like, I really like this because it feels like we know you already. And then yeah. come the wedding day, we're just- And they can trust you. Buddies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, it feels, it's really good. I think that was a big thing. Do you guys shoot together on all the weddings? No, so. At all. I um, have a full-time job. Yeah. So whenever I, you know, have the chance and privilege to go, I'll end up going. Either second shooting or assisting. I honestly would love to have Maurice shoot with me. I feel like. I like, see it in the future. I think, I think that'll happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like we see couples like you guys, like Jesse. Moira, yeah, Joss and Tree, Lanny and Erica. And we're just like, yeah. to me, that's where I'd love to, you know, yeah. I'd love for that. Winsteads. Um, the Winsteads, Chad and Beth. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Our buddies. They're the best. Yeah. yeah. They're coming up near our place here uh, next month. We love them. And uh, we're definitely getting together with them for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, um, I think uh, your kindness, as Beth said, your networking skills, your kindness is like, I don't do, um, Beth handles all the, she's the kindness factor of our business. She's a sweetheart. And I, I handle like Honey, the, you're kind too. well, I handle like the hard edits. So like I'll be editing and, and doing things and she's hand, handling the sweet talking people and getting to know. And all I see is the communications between the two of you. That's what prompted me, Beth, is I was mm. like, not only is, 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 is Tanya amazing, other people are catching on. But your kindness, I see you two back and forth. And I, I think I literally said, like, why does this girl like us so much? Why she keeps talking to us on Instagram? <laughs> I couldn't, like, I guess I couldn't quite figure it out. I'm like, you guys are just, like, inseparable on this Instagram. It's talking back and We've forth. I don't, like, the, the moment that I met you and you came up and gave me the biggest hug, I turned around to him, after, to Maurice afterwards, and I was like, I don't, I, why is she so nice? Like, what? <laughs> Those exact words. Because I was, was, yeah. you know, was. Yeah. This community that we have, though, we it's are really lucky to amazing. be around yeah. so many great people. That's what I love about WPPI is it's coming amazing. and just getting to know new photographers. Like yeah. every year, you just introduced a new people that um, that you do jive with, and you can learn yeah. so much from and be yeah. inspired by. Oh my goodness! Beautiful I mean, people inside and out. Yes, yes. and that's um, a big thing. Speaking of beauty, Beth, do you know those shoes are in the camera? Show them to the show I them to the camera. I didn't know that. Just put them up high. <laughs> just please, just after we had just said, put, put them up I, high. And I didn't know that. Well, they're in. The cat's out of the bag now, but Beth is wearing you know the official Mandalay Bay. Oh, um, question um, quick. <laughs> the official Mandalay Bay. The shoes are um, just right there. Though. You're good, babe. You're good. You, 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 this is the path we've chosen. I, I, Okay. Um, so talk about, so we do, we do, um, we do around 15, 18, 20 weddings. 
Um, I, frankly, I don't have the mental capacity to, to get close, uh, to, to spend my time getting close and befriending our clients if I had 40 or 50. Uh, yeah. We found that when we had 38 clients, uh, we delivered great photos, but we did not have the personal connections that I would like to have or may at least make us happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so talk about, did you ever go through that phase where you had a ton of weddings and you shifted or? No. You're always, you're, you're good with this. Yeah. I mean, I foresee that possibly happening if we went like a little bit larger in terms of like maybe associate shooters, yeah. but I, I think that's a good number. Sarah. Yeah. For, yeah. I mean, for us and for like the energy that we have and. Do you per, um, do uh, in-person sales? I'm starting to. Starting yeah. to. Yeah. I've chatted with a few other photographers about it and who've been really successful at it. And I think that that's kind of an. Yeah, it's totally changed our lives and. That's what the, you guys do? Yeah, oh, big yeah. time. Cool. Gotcha. Oh, huge. I gotcha. want to know more about um, your partnership with MagMod and being in a, a MagMod ambassador. Like yeah. what sort of projects have you been working on with them? I got, so right after um, Trevor had done, I think it was a How I Shot It video with me. Um, at the end, he's like, hey, so, you know, we're bringing you on as an ambassador. And I was like, no, I, I didn't know that. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and then it was, I think, a month or two afterwards where um, he had asked me to come to Arizona with a few other photographers and, you know, stay with them and work on projects. And we did the video challenge. Did you guys see that? I saw it. Yeah. And Who was in it with you? Um, so we had Pi, Christine. Offers, Jared Gant, Linda Wells, Manny Ortiz. Oh, I know I'm forgetting someone. Please don't hate me. Um, Marlies? Uh, no. No, she wasn't there. Different video then. Yeah, different video. She was in the first challenge one. Ah, okay. okay I think right. she in in OC in Orange County. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. She was in the first one. Um. So, what do you love about? I mean, obviously, we use. Uh, the, the, pretty much every flash shot we have involves yeah, one of their Yeah, we've been using MagMod since they were like a Kickstarter, mm. yeah, like so way what, back in the day. What, yeah. do you, what, what products do you love about them, and how have you integrated into your day? I think it's like impossible now not to use anything MagMod, because like so much of our work is off-camera flash, right. and so it's impossible now not to have those tools. It's like going backwards in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. But I've also realized... Um, like kind of how to scale it back. And before where I was like, okay, we have all this flash and we have all this stuff. Let's use it. Yeah. Right. And now it's like, okay, let's scale that back and uh -huh. see how we can use mm -hmm. this not only effectively, but in a better way. And someone who taught me a lot about that was Marlise because she uses flash in a way that's very natural, that complements the sunlight and I love that versus just being like, I've got a flash, let me use it. So now we try to be a little bit more basic with things using maybe one flash setups, um, a sphere, a grid, you know, CTO, uh, gel. And that seems to be kind of like 95% of the wedding day, what we use. Us too, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how do you do your, so uh, frankly, I'm surprised you're going to two man because I think you're at a, such a level Um for folks listening, Two Man Studios, Lanny and Erica out of Canada, offer pretty much the most comprehensive how to kick ass on a wedding day and then edit the photos mm -hmm. workshop that they've been doing for years now. I took it at least in maybe 2016, Beth, or 20, yeah. I took it years ago, and um, it'll change everything for you. But maybe I'm thinking, aren't you awesome enough? <laughs> aren't, in my mind, is like, aren't you awesome enough that you don't need to go to that? What are you looking forward to? What? So it must be like me, that you love learning. So where, what would you like to learn and be, that's where I'm going with all this, is where, would, what would you like to learn and be better at? 100%. So I've actually had this conversation with a few other photographers that have already gone. And the theme that they've always resounded back is like how Lanny and Erica are such amazing people. And if anything, like I just want to be around that type of person and emulate like their system, whatever they're doing is working, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. As a couple, as individuals, they're beautiful human beings that I just wanna be around that type of, because I think that being around that type of energy will reflect back into your work. Yeah. And I would love to bring that even more so to my clients. So 
and obviously like they're amazing with storytelling and off camera flash and I'm always going to learn something from everybody. And I'm, I'm so excited. Like this has been long overdue. <laughs> I know that like, uh, Jason Vincent, he went maybe last year, I think. Yeah. And, and, you know, Seth kind of asked that same question. He's like, well, so many know, people want to, I would assume there's a lot of people who follow you, Jason. And they're like, boy, I really love to get my photos to this level. Um, which is where we started. It's like following, you know, Daniel and Davina, mm-hmm. two man, like a goal. Oh, if I could just get my photos looking like that one day. Um, and then I feel like, like you and Jason's photos and, and, and Chasney's photos, like they look like they're pretty damn close. I'm like, yeah. how much more room do we have to grow? But I guess he you just know, loves learning, you know, like there's I guess always, I do too. Yeah. Always more room to grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always. So, always. Yeah. yeah. I think we, it's really bad when we stop wanting to grow because then we get in that safe spot and before you know it, you turn around and somebody else is doing something super creative and you've missed the train and there's just, there's, it's never going to end. There's going to be new products. There's going to be new cameras. There's going to yeah. be new ways of storytelling. Like we've seen that ever since, you know, even the nineties, like how weddings have been documented. Mm-hmm. Maybe photojournalism right now is the thing. Maybe 10 years from now, it's going to be something else. And so you just have to kind of evolve along with everything that's going on. Right. Um, I know there's a big push. Uh, I know there's obviously a big push to start recognizing the amazing females in our, uh, in the photography world. Uh, I know uh, Erica has been a, a leader of this and like, I guess when I said it, is I'm just really glad to see how well you're doing in this world. Um, I am more, in, it's Frank. <laughs> I'm like a very, uh, I guess Beth, I would consider myself a very machismo kind of masculine guy, but I, no, I, I, fi- <laughs> really? I find Is myself. Uh, I find myself it's looking up to it's like the, the badass <laughs> women in this world much more. Like oh, the, I love these that CrossFit, about you. yeah, these yeah. CrossFit gals that are just completely kicking. Oh, the that's world. not me. Yeah. Well, that's okay, baby. I just look up to them like holy yes. cow. Like you know, um, I uh, I'm in love with like watching Masterclass. Have you heard of that? Like the yes. Master- yes. Yeah. And so my new hero in this world is Sarah Blakely from Spanx. Like hearing her story about how she just kicked ass for twenty years. You watched had, it twice. Had four kids. Um, so yeah, it's just like I don't know. I'm just really happy to see you're doing so well. And it seems like what you're saying is this: the sky is the limit here. Because if you're still, <laughs> if you're still yearning to learn more, I can't imagine where your work is going to go uh, in the future. Am I, am I right, baby? Right, like uh, what you've accomplished in just a couple of years. Can you imagine in a couple of years from right? now like it's just gonna be so amazing yeah i mean i hope so we never know what tomorrow's gonna bring um but that's definitely something that you know we're gonna strive for yeah definitely (laughs) i'd love to have you on in the future to learn um how the in-person sales route is going it's absolutely changed everything in our lives babies though like super duper babies Ah, speaking of learning we could learn from you guys like a ton oh um Mm -hmm. well i mean certainly something we can discuss but you know um i never knew how much was possible until we started offering things okay um i used to think that we were bothering couples by forcing them to buy an album Mm -hmm. um and next thing you know i I told beth i've been enamored with um maybe maybe making a some sort of video series like a master class even for my, not even for myself, but just, just because I love education. Beth was a teacher for 15 years. But the idea of letting clients buy things, uh, just letting them buy things, is like a main thing that a lot of photographers don't even do. Is just yeah. let them buy an enormous album for themselves, their parents, wall art that's just big, way bigger than that. Oh. I mean, that's small wall art compared to what we're selling. Let them and celebrate themselves. You let them. And yeah. you know, like I used yeah. to like prejudge people. I really did is like if we did offer an album and they were getting like 70 photos, I would build a 70 photo album. Mm. And it wasn't until Ben Hartley from style and story and creative is like, yeah, I built a 300 image album and just let them look at it. And all of a sudden I get guys walking in, uh, Bo and Rachel, like his first words were like, yeah, just print that. We'll just take that. And I was like, what? (laughs) Yeah. Just exactly how you've done it. We'll just take that. And it's like, Okay, it's like wrap that up. You know, we have people getting like multiple volumes. Wow. I I say all the time, Jen and Daryl, a gorgeous couple from Columbus, they told me three times over emails they didn't want any wall art. They walked out with the biggest piece we offer. 
Wow. It's just it was just there in front of them, and they're just like they just gaze over to it, and they're like, yeah, we'll take that too. I went and installed it in their house. They got parent album. Yeah, it's just insane. I mean, I swiped for like the biggest. We made the biggest and fundy, the biggest album ever for them. And now, since they're getting ready to pay, they're like, oh, by the way, we need copies of this for both of our parents. So it's just like, wow, okay. And so, like, it wasn't until I learned a lot of this from Steve Separito. Um, do you know him? I've heard about him. Yeah. yeah. So he's like the king of like the IPS. It, yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, just letting educating clients on how they can celebrate themselves and giving them permission to. I know Beth. I talk about this all the time, but anyway. If uh, I think it's going to really change everything because for us, it just made such happier clients, mm -hmm. happier us, mm -hmm. rewarding. And uh, so if you guys, I guess I'm surprised to hear you're not doing that because um, I'm, I'm eager to learn what it's going to do for your lives and the lives of your clients. Because um, yeah. when I mean surprised, it's like I'm pleasantly surprised that you still have so much room to grow and, and, and so many clients to, to please Am I saying the right thing, Beth? What the hell am I talking You're about? Okay, You're I okay, Ben. I think today something that really, really, really uh, stuck with me. I don't know if it stuck with you too, babe, but um, we went to the Graffy Studio meetup. to Not meetup, but like yeah. they were talking about all of the products and Jerry's beautiful, gorgeous album, mm -hmm. Sue Bryce's. And it was really interesting what he said about the word photographer. Now in Greek... You know, you separate those two words, photo and graph. And yes, there's the photo part where you're the action, but then the graph part where it's the, the tangible product, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And so I was like, just this huge right. bomb in my head went off. And I was like, okay, as photographers, we're handing over these digital products and maybe an album, you know, included if, if the couple selects that collection yeah mm -hmm. but we're not really giving them something tangible why are we doing that why are we doing that and yeah. i was like light bulb and yeah. it's in the like, definition yeah. wow yeah. i never thought of it like that it was either. so beautiful it was so yeah. beautiful and i thought you know the, the greeks have it down yeah like, <laughs> right they know what they're talking about they know what they're talking about oh. no yeah i, I coach yeah. my mentors the idea of like we have tried in our vocabulary just to simply take the word images and digital images out. We always talk about photos. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's like the first step of getting a mindset shift of like, yes. you're getting photos. If you hire Seth and Beth, you are getting a, yep. an album and photos on your wall. And sure enough, that's what they start, start people start yeah. expecting. So we took that out of our contract too. Anything that said digital or images, we've reworded it. Oh, we don't even yeah. say like packages, we say the collections. We're trying to, we're trying to use the IPS vocabulary. Sure. Um, yeah. and, but the next step is like what you guys are doing. Yeah, it's yeah. a huge mindset mindset shift and you very well might fail uh, uh, for some time. Good. Which is what, <laughs> it almost broke us actually, right. is, is the failing aspect of it. You know, just basically not doing right or having your intentions in the wrong place. But um, once we figured it out, it's very exciting, right, Beth? Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's so good yeah. to fail. <laughs> you know, um, I, I feel like since we've been doing in-person sales that almost like the experience that we're providing the clients now is different. You know, we're like, it's the first time that I feel like we're really providing the complete package because we're giving them something that they're going to be able to pass on now mm -hmm. to even their kids and maybe even their grandkids. Mm -hmm. well, and that's the complete experience, not just yeah. stopping at like a thumb drive or, you know, a shared gallery or something like that. So that's um, since we've made the shift of in-person sales. And now, now I feel totally complete with what we're doing for clients. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I think it's going to take some trial and error, you know, until we get it just right. And I think every photographer has a different kind of mix or play on IPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That works for them in their community, in their, you know, industry, in their little niche right there. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what kind of the niche is and what, what people want and yeah. go from there. Yeah, Heck I think yeah. Yeah. be influenced by a lot of people too, like Sean LeBlanc. Sean LeBlanc has been doing a huge. great, killing it. So he took the same class that I took and really? the, the, the moves that he makes are like uh, unprecedented from anyone else I've seen in terms of like gathering very warm leads 
mm. and giving more than you're getting and, and leading to, to large sales and, and large, large amounts of happiness for his clients. Yeah. He's incredible. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, we love him. Yeah. Oh, those yeah. Canadians. Yeah, all the Canadians are incredible. Those Canadians, eh? Yeah. yeah. Hey? They're incredible. Hey? Well, um, <clears throat> I'd love to get an update from you two, um, in the future. Maybe even this time next year, you know, WPPI we next yeah. year. We could. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I think, uh, I think you're set for a very big year. We're so happy for you guys and so excited for what's thank to come. You. And we thank can't you thank you enough yeah. for your online support of us. Um, Always. Sometimes I can't figure <laughs> out like. Uh, um, I know you're wrapping up right now, but there's just something you don't know this because you weren't in here. But Maurice uh -oh. is really big into the Muppets. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I you missed his impersonation. I'd like to hear your you beaker real quick. Well, so I'm a chemist by trade, and so um, <laughs> let me think about this, Bethy, because right? it's just like a <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Me, yep. me, 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 <laughs> And then you got Bunsen and Honeydew. He's like, well, Beaker. <laughs> no, it's very high pitched. Like, hey, be shoot, I missed it. But hey, I Beaker. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Bunsen and Honeydew. Yeah. Uh, See, he's the got Swedish it down. Smurgy, smurgy, smurgy. Yeah, so like, bro. Uh, okay, wait a minute. This is this is great. Like, I grew up on all the Muppet shows, the Muppet Babies. You better check yourself out. That's why you said, oh. are you hearing this? The Muppet Babies you was like yeah. my yeah. summers. <laughs> And then, of course, it spread into like all those cheesy Muppet movies, like Labyrinth, right. mm -hmm. um, which were Muppet Treasure, yeah, Treasure there's a Island. Labyrinth. Oh, listen, this Christmas, the Muppet Christmas Carol, bring tears to your eyes. Jim, uh, Jim Henson just was like my Love hero him. as a kid. So you know, Maurice, when you um, do you guys have kids? No. Ah. No. Okay, that was a not yet. Mm, not yet. Okay, okay mm. great. Um, but <laughs> when when you have kids, um, I um, kids are enamored with puppets. Obviously, yeah. hello, they're incredible. It's true. We have the largest, a very large collection of like big, somewhat expensive <laughs> puppets. It was very important to Seth. You just pull these things yeah, out and like a child has no concept of like, oh, that's not, a. they don't get it's a puppet. It's a real <laughs> thing that's like you just pull it out on your hand. And next thing you know, they have, they will lock eyes with this puppet. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't care that it's not, they don't understand it's coming from your, so I have all these, I got the alligator, he's from the south. I got this this dragon, I got this dog, <laughs> you know, this dog. And um, I've been really in love with like puppetry. And I know it's kind of creepy because like. <laughs> no, well, this is your guy right here because he. We'll have a puppet show together. Yes. Muppets. Oh, yeah. Muppet, the, Muppet oh, yeah. the Seth and Maurice Muppet Show. Muppet Show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You remember that? Oh, Wait, Saturday do the hands. nights. Do the hands. <laughs> I just, very vividly, I remember the Muppet The Muppet Show was on Saturday nights late. We'd cuddle up all the yeah. family and watch yeah. it. Muppet Show. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I remember, um, yeah, it was just very vivid memory. Seth still memories. has a pig in space lunchbox. Yeah, an old metal oh month, my month, like Whoa. With the old Hey, that's gotta that's be worth That's a collector's something. item yeah, there, man. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Beth, I'm so glad you brought that up. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome, honey. Muppets <laughs> in any sort of puppet form, like Elmo, uh, like the Elmo, like yeah. our kids worshipped Elmo. Yeah. And um, it's an extension. I was never much into Sesame Street, but um, yeah. So I got the Elmo puppet with our little ones. Go and ahead then, and do it. Yeah. So my voice at weddings, which gets everybody, is like, Hey, everybody, it's Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Yeah, it's goodness. like <laughs> yeah. Spot hey. on. La, 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 la. Spot so on. I in family photos. Oh. Inevitably, there's like a three year old. I'm like, Hey, everybody. And everybody starts laughing. So now I'm like the Elmo voice. I'm oh like the Elmo goodness. voice. Yeah, it's really like. I, ho I hope they You're going to have to practice that one. I'm going to have to practice that I hope one. I can't do Elmo. Give it a try. Give it a no, try. No. Uh, next year. Okay. Next year. Yeah. I'll work on Where? it. And okay. yeah. I, deep down, okay. I hope they need an Elmo guy because I can do the, like, hey, everybody. And then, like, hey, everybody. So um, that's <laughs> what I'm into. has got a range. Hey, yeah, full. <laughs> He's got that one. Yeah, so the, the, kid, the, kid, the kids love this stuff. So, um, all right. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, guys. Uh, Thank you, guys. You too. Love uh, you, guys. You guys are the oh, best. So oh, wait. Where can people find you? Your oh. Instagrams and yeah. um, the Handle. Facebookings? At Parada Studio. P-A-R-A-D-A. P-A-R-A-D-A. Three A's. Yes. Three A's. Oh. At Parada Studios. Yeah. And then... ParadaStudio.com. Uh, um, Parada Studio. Parada Studio. Yeah. Studio. Just a studio. Was that tough to get? Studio. Yeah. Was that? Was it tough to get that website? 
No. No, no, no. 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 We had, to, we had yeah. to fight for a Seth and Beth. Yeah. Really? Well, oh, really? Yeah. So there's, there's other no. Seth and yes, Beth there couples. Are. I know. They're right? not as cool as what? you. I, I'm telling well, you. Well, even I mean. like a hashtag <laughs> Seth and Beth till death. That's not my hashtag. Oh, it's somebody wow. else's. It's somebody else's? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get there, Beth, Uh-oh. one day. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get yeah. famous enough to get that hashtag <laughs> under our name. <laughs> it so. will happen. Oh, yeah. All right. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow us, SethandBeth.com. Tanya, uh, Tanya and Maurice, thank you so thank much you for so coming much. in. Thank, thank you, guys. you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, wonderful. All right, wonderful. follow us. See you guys. Thanks. Okay.